Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for Friday, June 2, 2023. Very little after 3.15 p.m. Eastern. We'll be having a reverse aging health call tonight at around 9 p.m. Eastern. The more creative you become, the more godly you become. And your creativity comes to a climax when each moment of your life is filled with creativity. You live in God. Oh, sure. The greatest shift that any human being, any of us, can have in this lifetime is the experience of full self-realization. And what is that? There are many definitions which point to it, yet ultimately, it is a fancy word for realizing that the unlimited, all-powerful, omniscient self who you truly are. This means we must go choose to go beyond every idea, concept, and boundary which we've defined ourselves today. Self-realization is an endless journey where we not only realize that we are beyond this physical form all day long, yet we have a direct experience of it with everything and everyone. See, we're beyond it, right? Yet we have direct experience of it with everything and everyone. We feel and sense a reverence for the spiritual being we truly are that is not separate from this world around us. It is the most profound awakening process one can have, which expands within you every moment of the day, becoming an integrated aspect of everyday life. There really is no deeper transformation in consciousness that any of us can have than becoming self-realized. The change in perspective is so completely radical and utterly life-morphing that nothing else can compare. Take the most profound experience of your life to date and then stretch it so it continually grows and expands 24 hours a day. This is a taste of what self-realization is like. Your entire experience of reality is so different. It's as if you had been an Eskimo living for 70 years in the Arctic circle and then one day you decided to pack your bags and permanently move to Hawaii. The reason why it is so important to understand how ridiculously different the experience of self-realization is is because it helps the mind drop any possible attempts to formulate a hardened concept about it. What it actually is cannot be grasped by the mind. The more the mind tries to think that it knows what self-realization is, the further you drift away from the experience of it. There is no mental concept in this universe that can prepare you for self-realization other than a perpetual willingness to surrender into the mystery and curiosity of it. We would all like a formula for a way to live life that is more enlightened and liberating. The problem is that every formula that works once is not going to work forever. All formulas last for a limited period of time and then we outgrow them. This is because the nature of our consciousness is meant to expand. 
become more flexible and diversified. It is only through absolute surrender to the infinite universe can self-realization be invoked and gifted to you. This level of surrender means you're inviting in the feeling that anything is possible, which means you must let go of just about everything you've known to be true. It's not easy, of course, to let go of our beliefs, yet it is the only way we will ever find the experience of being truly free. To identify oneself with the body and yet to seek happiness is like attempting to cross a river on the back of an alligator. Ramon Marishi. To identify oneself with the body, which most of us on this planet do, and yet to seek happiness is like attempting to cross a river on the back of an alligator. To begin this seemingly impossible, seemingly impossible, spiritual quest for freedom, it all begins with inquiring into the source and center of who and what you actually are. When you relax, meditate, and dive into the center of you, there you will first find the mind and its stories about you. The infinite experience of you is behind these thoughts. It comes from diving into the center of your presence, your essence, and there you can go into it for infinity. infinity. There is always another experience within the center of each experience. Eventually, this is how we become centered within our spiritual essence. In life, in this life, it is always the most random, expansive feelings which redirect our attention away from who we think we are and towards rediscovering our unlimited creative source of consciousness. If and when you notice, whenever you talk about yourself, you usually refer to the words me, my, or I. When you feel into the experience of me, my, or I, what do you notice and perceive is there? Look for a long period of time. You must be infinitely patient with this inquiry because it is the first step towards uncovering the real you and is vastly deep and transforming. The longer that you can maintain a focus of inquiring who or what I am, the faster you will realize the shocking truth of who and what you actually are. Imagine that you are, imagine that who you are is contained within you know, a circle, right? We've done this before. But imagine, there's a little teeny small dot inside this big circle. The dot is the self you believe you are. You know, you can visualize pretty easy, this circle, in the centered circle. Little teeny, tiny dot. And the dot is the self you believe you are. This means everything which you have identified with that can be written down on paper, like your name, friends, job, your, your gifts, your physical appearance, your attitude, personality, and the way others see you is all part of your identity. The dot represents your mind with all the information stored inside it as well your emotions, memories, beliefs, and every piece of good and bad information inside your physical body. Everything you know to be true, you, about your reality, is contained within a tiny dot. The circle around the dot represents everything in our future we have yet to see, experience, know, and learn. It contains our intuitive higher self that says who and what 
we are includes the ego, mind, and body, yet also welcomes everything beyond it as well. Meaning, you could find yourself knowing who you are is not just your body, yet anything around you. You could feel yourself to be a tree, animal, plant, person, the sun, moon, star, planet. You could extend your idea of yourself into anything and everything in this entire universe. The circle represents every piece of information you don't know is on Google. Okay? The circle represents every piece of information you don't know is on Google, as well as in all the buried ancient history books and Akashic records throughout time. Now, if you look closely at the circle, you'll see there is an outer circumference where the black edge meets the pure white background. This white background can expand into infinity. This edge represents the edge of the unknown and is where the experience of self-realization is found. We must choose to not only let go of identifying ourselves as a body-mind, yet also be continuously expanding our sphere of what we know is the unknown and surrender to the unknowable. You can call this infinite white expansive space God, love, un con consciousness. God, love, consciousness, source, or any word that works for you. However, the, the truth is, is that there is no word large enough to describe this boundary-less container which allows for everything in this universe to play upon it. This is the great mystery of life. This is the great mystery of life, which every mad scientist fights with to understand. Yet the mind will always be too small of a container to get it. To truly experience and realize who and what we actually are, we must choose to release anything that can be known with the mind and surrender into the infinite mystery behind it all. It is in this direct relaxation into our foundation that we find our spiritual connection and our boundless infinite potentiality. We instantly realize that we are a spirit being who is beyond this body beyond time, beyond all places, shapes, and forms. A great sta statement from Wayne Dyer was that when you judge another, you do not define them, you define yourself. By living everyday life on this 
outer edge of infinite possibilities, we become rooted in the deepest truth of who we truly are. We experience enlightened relationships with everyone in our lives because we see they are also a part of the mystery living in this great unknown. We then become this ever-growing expansion of godly experience that is always increasing in love, joy, and curiosity. When we find this infinity within us, where all thoughts and forms abide in, we can rest in a state of pure consciousness. It is from this resting within the core of our real self where we can effortlessly allow everything to be in perfect order. Seeing the divine is orchestrating the universe to blossom exactly the way it needs to. The experience of self-realization can come and go in an instant. We don't need to meditate for 40 years to get it. It all begins with the choice in each moment to let this go of any identification we have with this body-mind and exchange it for a more expansive experience of this life. So it's partly pure intention and part total surrender. We must choose to go from thinking we are a limited human being with many problems of this world to knowing we are on a great spiritual journey through an unlimited life. That's very important to understand that through the heart-mind. So it's partly pure intention and part total surrender that we must go from thinking we are a limited human being with many problems of this world to knowing we are on a great spiritual journey through an unlimited life. This leap requires absolute risk and trust. As the nature of the mind, ego, identity is to cling to the old. It wants to find security in that which does not change. Yet, everything of this world changes. The only thing that does not change is the infinite background. The only way to real freedom in life, this life, is through changing our perspective when we can shift from thinking, I live in the body, to the body lives in me. I live in the body. Shift that thinking. I live in the body to the body lives in me. Our reference point to me, myself, and I is expanded. We are no longer imprisoned to just the body and mind. We realize we are the unknowable. The identification with who we are is then found in everything. We experience life beyond the known and unknown circles of information. We think are there. Self-realization is huge. However, it is not too huge to experience it in our daily lives. For it to root and be real, 
we must choose to be willing to practice integrating this expansive perspective on a physical level. We must choose to find complete relaxation with all the feelings, memories, ideas of who we were, who we are now, and everything that we will become. It is through the deepest acceptance of our small self that we can expand into our unlimited self. We are forever going to be this tiny dot that is also expanding into the infinite universe that exists around us. This is life. We have no other choice yet to accept it and relax into the deeply eternal loving and accepting divine blackboard that is behind it all. Man cannot discover new oceans unless he has the courage to lose sight of the shore. Andre Guide. You are the pulsing heart of the emptiness, the mountain strength of the vastness. Pamela Wilson. Isn't it interesting how many of us, right, throughout the generations and the decades in existence on this planet, we all seem to get pulled into this feeling of failing, falling off the path. How many people have you come across and say, say I don't, am I on the right path? Am, I'm afraid I'm not on the right path. When the frail, egoic human persona takes over, we tend to get wrapped up in identifying ourselves as small, limited, powerless, time-bound beings who are temporarily imprisoned in a physical human form. The human experience can hypnotize us into believing that we are lost, poor, insecure, unhappy, or simply off track. The good news is, is that the truth is always much bigger than the mind can fathom. Whatever we perceive life to be some random, challenging, confusing experience, Take an afternoon to digest these five discoveries I'm going to share with you. They will open up the inner avenues of connection so you reestablish a heartfelt relationship with your spiritual essence and soon discover the all-powerful, magical, manifesting being we are all truly and we'll discover it again. Now the first step to opening the doorway to meeting your sacred soul starts with feeling into your basic core nature. Who are you at the very innermost core level? You are a super powerful divine being. Exploring this exposes you to become the highest authority of your reality and your life. Where you decide what is real and what is not. You are the one who is constantly seeing, believing, and perceiving the reality you think is true. The mind is always right about what it believes is real. 
It's never wrong about what direction it's thinking and believing. Even if you fall off the deep end and you believe that 1 plus 2 equals 4, the mind will be very righteous about that. Have you met people like this? The mind is all coiled up in an old habit of making up fantastic stories about who and what you are and are not. When this mind drops, you drop into your core basic nature, mindless, still, and free from all thought. The mind will still try to say that you are not enough of this and too much of that. Do not listen to the mind. Listen to your heart instead. There is an unlimited field of loving, sweet energy in your heart, which is the doorway to having a full body, deeply healing, spiritual awakening experience. The second step to revealing your soul is found within this space-time continuum. Where would the soul reside if it was simply resting and relaxing at the center of you? Where specifically and exactly is the core of you? When you look within yourself, where in space and time is the very center of this thing called you? When you find it, rest for many hours in that space. You'll discover that you are pure, powerful, perfect, sweet, complete consciousness. You are the source of divine perfection. The more we can relax into our center, the easier it becomes to realize there never, ever was anything wrong with you. That was all just a big fancy show of the mind, fabricating new stories again. Your soul is beyond the mind. It is the ever-present, eternal witness at the core essence of you and is always there, always available, and ready to be explored. This is the inner journey everyone is seeking. It's the one that can take lifetimes to discover. And until we find it, we cannot know deep, everlasting peace. But don't worry. It is predestined that you will find your soul. This spiritual stream of sacredness follows us wherever we go. When we can really relax deep down into the core of our being, the eyes of the soul begin seeing through us. We can perceive the universal spiritual path within the mundane and understand how it's truly impossible to screw up this life. When we relax, we begin to truly trust life. We can feel like we have an infinite amount of time, energy, resources, creativity, and knowledge to get it right. Only in a very deep relaxation can we surrender enough to bathe in our soul's true eternal essence. The ego and mind are set on the back burner. There's no second guessing about if we have arrived in the parking lot of our soul or not. It's so obvious, it's like the difference between knowing the sun is shining and is shining or not. There's only this pure feeling of knowing and getting that we are all unlimited, unbounded, perfect beings, connected to each moment, to an infinite stream of consciousness, intelligent energy. The soul makes us wake up and realize that we can do the impossible. 
its energy is so powerful, eternal, and cannot be changed. The more we relax into this understanding, the more we stop fighting with our mind and its list of unfulfilled desires. We simply give up following our thoughts blindly around and begin relaxing beneath them into the quiet solitude underneath the mind, which makes everything in this life more interesting and less challenging than it needs to be. Now, the third step is to unveiling your spiritual amazingness is in the practice of a thing called trust. This universe is always protecting you, helping you, serving your highest good. It has never, ever abandoned you and is always here assisting you to blaze through your challenges and find your greatest possible joy in this life. When you trust in this process, everything changes in your perception and reality. This universe is conspiring in your favor. This universe is conspiring in your favor. It wants you It wants what you want. Be a pronoiac, not a paranoiac. Just notice what it feels like to sit back and relax into the feeling of trusting in this universe and knowing it is guiding you. When we practice the trust vibe, we can listen easily to the subtle hints from this universe. We know our life purpose and spiritual direction, and we stop ignoring it. The trusting signs are there. Just look for them. Take heed and stop getting in the way of your highest possibility. It is in trusting this universe that we can give ourselves permission to manifest the most amazing, miraculous life we could ever imagine. We actually get what we truly want through trusting. We stop settling for a fear-based, rushed lifestyle that we don't really desire. I invite you right now, take time to settle yourself into the energy of trust right now. Breathe it into your body. Feel it inside your heart. Practice this, practice this one all day long, all night long. Notice how good this feels. See if you can notice how many ways this universe is guiding, assisting, and protecting you in the next 48 hours. It is an amazing feeling when you can remain in the state of trust all week long. It is this energy which opens the door to let your soul's full presence to come flying through. The fourth step to discovering your soul for all of us comes from recognizing and letting go of your fears. Take the time when you're in the grocery line to find out what you're truly afraid of in this life. Look deep inside and face whatever old dark demons are inside you. They are just you hiding from your own soul. Your fears are not meant to haunt you and stay with you forever. That's not their purpose. If you are not facing your fears every day, then they are not fully serving you. You're meant to work with fear, push up against it, so that you expand your sense of self and grow beyond it. Release your attachments to what the fear means and realize each one is merely a ridiculous, 
misguided thought. Give yourself fully over to being a fearless human being by an all-loving, all-powerful, fearless, multidimensional spiritual being with unlimited potentiality. Who knew the darkness would lead us to the light? And with just a little exploration and our daily journey home, becomes a very sacred healing process. Only you can say where the road goes. Everyone sets his goals for the hour, for the relationship, and for every phase of this life. Now, Ron Hubbard, only you can say where the road goes for you. The fifth step to uncovering your sparkling bright soul comes from retraining your brain to be alert and remain focused only on that which you're, you truly desire. What do you want in this life? What you want wants you to have it. And when you can keep your mind focusing on what you want and off what you don't want, the most amazing things will manifest in your presence. Nobody wants to hear what's on your long list of complaints, but your, your kingdom of don't wants is up for sale. And recalibrate your mind to meditate on what you do desire. What are those things that make your heart sing? How many times have you caught yourself really, you know, wallowing in the, I, you know, don't want this, don't want that, you know, fearing this and fearing that. The simple refocusing of the mind on what you want in this life is incredibly powerful and transformative. Once the mind comes around to the conclusion that as long as it's focusing on what it doesn't want, it's never going to be happy. Then it starts to rely more on pure awareness to liberate it. The mind is already deeply trained and programmed to rewind and replay the same 60,000 thoughts it had yesterday. It doesn't like to deviate from the norm. Yet when you redirect it to remain focused on what you want, to think about all day long, your soul peeks through and opens everything up like a flower meeting the first morning rays of sunshine. You come to feel the amazing warmth that is inside your being. This is the day you truly know your soul intimately and it will show everyone in the most natural, unassuming ways, the all-powerful, deeply eternal loving being, you already are. Don't waste your life for that which is going to be taken away. Trust life. Trust God. If you trust, only then can you drop your knowledge. And only then you put your mind aside and with trust something immense opens up then this life is no ordinary life it becomes full of god overflowing oh so i join you in a meditation and return to close us out
take an easy and slow breath in through the nose and an easy and slow breath out the mouth. Remain still for six minutes. Explore this statement. The truth of who I am is. For six minutes, explore this statement. The truth of the who I am is. Just pointing in this direction will spontaneously and magically allow you to awaken your highest level of being. You can easily transcend and ascend past old illusions when you are centered in the truth of who you are. All your unconscious, hypnotic, doing and thinking patterns will disappear when you are present to this truth. What do you feel like? you need to do today to discover more about the truth of who you really are. Knowing who we really are gives us permission to forget who we think we are. Take this with you for the rest of the day into the evening and night and the following morning. And we'll return here Saturday. June 3, 2023, 3.15 p.m. Eastern to continue our global guided meditation call. Be gentle, kind, generous, and humble with yourself at all times. Be in the highest of the deepest, deepest, deepest eternal gratitude at all times, no matter what's going on around you. 